fashion sewers. In today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make cupboard buttons. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is a kit for cupboard buttons. You can get cupboard buttons in different sizes and they come in um, threes, fours and a packs of um, up to eight. Um, you can buy them from a haberdashery and what a cover button is, is when you cover it with your fashion fabric. So it provides you with a way of having a unique button and possibly you're the only person in the world with that type of button. Now this is the front of the button and this is what the back of the button looks like. And in order for you to cover your button, it needs to be trapped into these teeth all the way around. And this is where this little stem or little shank is where the button is sewn to the garment. And in order to keep that covered, it has a back to it, which snaps into place once the button is covered. Here we have the covered button before and after, covered in my fashion fabric. And that's the wrong side, and that's the wrong side, but it doesn't have the covering. So now I'm going to demonstrate how you cover your button. You start off with a little template like so and it has to be twice the width of your button so that's the centre and then from that point so let's move that out of the way to there would be the size of your button and then yet again it will double and once you've cut your fabric out of your disc it will be a case of here's your fabric and the little tip here is put a little bit of double sided tape on each side. This will give it a little bit more stability and control when you actually come to put it onto your button. Because it's got a shiny side, it can actually slip out of your hands. So put that into the center, like so. Then position the double-sided tape into the shell of the button. Get the other side and do the same. Now I like to use tweezers in order to trap my fabric into the teeth because it is a safe way. It's better than using your stitch and pick, which I wouldn't advise at all, because you are working quite closely to your fingers. And hopefully you can see that the teeth are starting to appear as I'm pushing my fabric through. And then if it proven to be a little bit stubborn, then your tweezers can just grab a hold, it gives you a bit more control so that you can position your fabric all the way around. It does take a little bit of time but it is worth it because you'll have your own unique buttons. I've now pushed all my fabric into the centre of the shell of the button and now that I'm happy with it I need to then put the backing onto it. Now it has grooves on both sides and you want the one with the deeper groove to be the facing you. Then you place it over the little shank or stem of your button and then it's just a case of pressing that into place and you should hear it snap. And there it is, my button. Just turn it over to the wrong side. And now that is ready to be put onto my garment. Making your own covered buttons is an excellent way of making your sewing project exclusive, so why not give it a go? If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.